Mother says it was supposed to be a game, but now her 10-year-old son is facing playground assault charges. He is charged with aggravated assault, accused of throwing a ball and aiming for another student's face. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans heard from both sides tonight. She's live in Canton with a look at how this all started, Jen. Well, Dave Carolyn, those two boys were playing outside here at Erickson Elementary back in late April when this all happened. But it wasn't until two days ago that one of the child's mother, Kamishi Lindley, learned that her 10-year-old was charged with aggravated assault in juvenile court. These kids are basically playing a game that we all have played. But on April 29th, what seemed like a harmless game ended with one student getting seriously hurt. According to the boy's mother, who asked we not show her face, he has a rare medical condition, making head injuries especially dangerous. According to a police report, during that game, another student threw a ball at his face on purpose. He sustained facial tissue damage to his face. He had a black eye and a bruised nose. Records show the then fourth grader also suffered a concussion. His condition is something Kamishi Lindley says she and her son, Bryce, knew nothing about. Wednesday, Bryce was charged with aggravated assault. I couldn't believe it. This is on top of a one-day suspension, which occurred right after the incident. This is a kid that was playing on the playground with his friends. I tried not to let it get to this point. This mother claiming her son had been hurt before and that she reported it to the school. My son was hit twice in the face with a ball previously due to this, and the child apologized to my son, and he said, Mom, it's okay. Um, we're still going to be friends. I'm unaware of any of those situations. Sorry that her child got hurt. I'd be sorry for any child that got hurt. Lindley just wishes problems like this could be solved. In okay, so y'all just heard that news clip right there. And when I was sent this story on Twitter, I was like, are you serious? So we have gone from school to prison pipeline to playground to prison pipeline. And I think I might title the video that. So you heard the news clip. This 10-year-old boy, now this boy is 10, has been charged with assault, with aggravated assault for throwing a dodgeball at a boy. Now, the boy that he threw it at is a little white boy. They said they didn't, now I looked at the news clip, they said the mother didn't want to show her face on camera, but they had the, the camera panned down to her hands. That woman is palm colored. I was like, oh, okay, now I see now I see where they're going with this. Like, they actually are charging a 10-year-old boy for playing a game. And when they said, and when she said that her son has a condition, I'm saying to myself, if he has a condition like that, why in the world is he playing dodgeball? Dodgeball is one of the most intense contact games that any child can play. I remember when I used to work at a day camp and the kids used to love playing dodgeball. Now, in some cases, <clears throat> they have outlawed dodgeball because of these injuries and everything like that. And in some places, it's against the law, to, you know, to play dodgeball, especially when it's an adult playing with the kids, because the forced throw behind an adult is way different than that of a child. Now, I can see if an adult did this and, and that happened, then I can see maybe you will have an issue because their force behind their throw is more powerful. But these kids are around the same age, so it's not really or should be seen as that bad. This uh, palm-colored mother is literally making a mountain out of a molehill with this. Like I said, how, were, how was this boy, him, the little boy right here in the picture, supposed to know that her son had a condition like he never said anything and they said this happened before and they said the little boy apologized and they said we'll still be friends and everything so what is it you want an apology is that is are you are you upset because you didn't get an apology is that what it is and like the news clip said this happened back in april they said up until two days ago now i don't know when this actual story went out but it was very recent so they are just now bringing up charges against this boy this week. Well, this week, this month for something that happened during the school year. Like that is messed up. Like this boy has assault charges on him at the age of 10 for something he had no control over. When you're playing dodgeball, you should know what kind of game you're getting into. But I literally put this on that mother 
and her son, especially her son, for not telling them he had a condition. Because had they did that, they would have said, you know what, maybe this is not the game for you to play because we don't want to risk you getting injured. And because you got injured before and something happened, we don't want to run the risk of it happening again. And I also questioned the school because the school had to have known that this boy had got an injury before because it would be in the school record saying on so-and-so date, so-and-so boy got hit with a dodgeball and this happened and that happened. Don't allow him to play dodgeball again. But he did it anyway. They let him play again anyway. So I don't point the finger of blame at this kid right here on the screen. I don't point the finger of blame at his mother. I point the finger of blame at the kid's mother, the child, and the school. The school because they had to have known in their records. The mother because she knew the child had a condition and didn't say anything until now. And the boy because he knew he had a condition and didn't say anything. And still decided to play dodgeball. Like they attaching assault charges. This is not a misdemeanor charge. This is a felony charge. They said he was in juvenile court. And he got suspended for one day from school. Now, as a man, I, I want to know what the uh the ethnicity of the other boy who apologized and nothing happened to him. I would like to really know what who on what the um the race or social construct, however you want to put it, is of that other boy or that other child. It doesn't have to necessarily be a boy, it could have been a girl. But to bring up charges of assault on a child because your child did not tell them that he had a condition. And he decided to play dodgeball knowing he could have got seriously injured. That is on them, not on the boy. How did he know when you're playing dodgeball? Your object of the game is to move out of the way to avoid getting hit by the ball. Hence, dodge the ball. If you get hit, you are out. And when you throw in the ball, sometimes you can't you don't control where it's going to go unless you're throwing low. Of course, you're going to go for the legs. But depending on how someone throws, and you never know how someone's going to throw, it could go in another direction. Like, this is silly. It's messed up at the same time. I'm like, as you can tell by my voice, I'm frustrated. I have every right to be. And those listening right now should be just as mad. Like, that is ridiculous. And it shows you how cowardice you have to be. As a grown adult, and I'm talking about the palm colored mother to want to take out assault charges on a little kid who did not do any of this out of malice. It was a pure accident. And like I said, it's her fault because she knew her son had a condition and she still allowed him to play that game anyway. She should have told them, look, I know you want to play dodgeball, but you can't. Find another game where you cannot get yourself injured because you have a condition. They made it seem like this boy and his mother should have known that. They didn't know. I didn't know he had a condition until they said it in the video. I'm thinking, oh, maybe he just, you know, just got casually hit with the ball. But when they said he had a condition and I'm like, the school knows this. The child knows this. The mother knows this. But the other ones did not know. The little boy who threw the ball and his mother did not know. But they're making it seem like they should have known, but they didn't. Like, they literally have sh have thrown, they have thrusted this boy and his mother into the perp category. Like, it, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. It has gotten to that point where they will charge your child with playing a game that has been around for decades. And I noticed that, you know, whenever if you, if you get injured or hurt, something like that, you go to the nurse's office. If you got to leave school early because of your, um, like an injury or something like that, so be it. Get well, heal up and come back. But you know what, all, what, you know what else it is? These kids nowadays are soft as cotton L tissue. I'll say it again. These kids today, most of them, like that boy in that video, are soft as cotton tissue. 
back when I was a kid and we played dodgeball, we got hit with the ball. Hey, we just got out and sat down until it was time for everybody to come back in. If we got a little injury, we went to the nurse's office, got our little whatever we had to get and came back out and continue playing. But these kids nowadays want to take and their, and their parents want to take a lawsuits for playing kid games. That the mother of that child is not right. She is wrong as all hell. And to an extent, so is her child. Her child should have known better not to play those games or play that particular game. And so was the school or whoever was supposed to be watching him because they had to have known if he got injured before, he would possibly get injured again. And it wasn't by the same child. It was by a different child. They can miss me with that crap. Like, completely and wholeheartedly miss me with that shit. Now he's going to have a record unless they can hopefully get um, the charges dropped. Now, I think they have created something to get some legal funds to pay for this because it is some BS. Like it really is. They said um, I'm on the um, the Facebook page right now. I'll leave the link in down pinned down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where it says, as of now, $985 of $4,000 has been raised. By the time I post this video, it'll, it'll be way, it should be way higher than that. But that is, that is crazy. That has to be a nightmare for this, this boy's mother and for the boy. Like no child wants, no, I mean, no parent wants to get that kind of call for something that happened back in April. Why didn't they take care of this back in April when it happened? They were spending time behind the scenes building up what they deemed to be a solid case against this boy only to have his summer be halted by this crap. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. And I've seen a lot or, or done a lot of stories, but this one right here takes the cake. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.